Hello, welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews. Let's turn you around to the bookshelves. That's a bit better. If you don't know why they look different, watch this video. Welcome to the first reading vlog of 2021 by the time you're watching this. I wasn't sure if I was going to start a vlog today. It is Monday the 28th as I am filming this and I really wasn't planning on it and then I had a wee cry just now and I realised that I needed a reason to pull myself together and sometimes that is getting on camera. So thank you for being my reason to pull myself together. I'm fine. I've been fairly chill for the last week. I would go through everything I've read, but it's so close to my December wrap up going up for you. I think I'm just gonna leave it. But I have read some very good things. So that's very exciting. Uh, I've also had Christmas and that was good. It was very nice. I was very privileged. I got to see some family, which was really, really nice. And uh, I'm still kind of a bit emotional about the whole everything that's still happening in the world. That's that's probably all I need to say, uh, but I'm, I'm doing okay. So it is Monday nighttime basically now, that's why the lighting is atrocious. Thank you so much. But uh, I wanted to come on and kick off a vlog. Um, I haven't read anything since two days ago I finished House of Sundering Flames, but I have one book, maybe two, left on my TBR and I've just pushed them both into January. I'm not pushing myself to read anything, I'm kind of giving my brain a bit of time to sort of, I don't know, mellow, I suppose. Uh, so at the moment, I'm trying to think what I want to read because I just want to pick up something that I fancy. And as yet, I don't fancy anything. So it, it may be coming up to a point where I just have to make some choices. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to pick up. We'll find out, I suppose. But yes, welcome to the brand new year. I'm excited. Vlogs on this channel for the new year. I haven't really thought too hard about it, I'll be honest. I know some people take the new year as like an opportunity to rebrand and renew and refresh and do everything differently and new graphics and stuff. I don't have plans to do that at the moment. This has been a weird time to start the vlog. As I say, this is mostly just a vehicle for me to get my he head, I tried to say head and brain at the same time, my hain, but to get my hain in gear. And uh, so far I think it has worked. I'm feeling a little bit more in the moment. I think I need to go make a cup of caffeineless tea. So yes, welcome. Welcome back to the first vlog. This is a really strong start, but I feel like starting with just the honesty of, I just, I was literally just crying, uh, will set the tone for the year ahead, I guess. <laughs> we shall see. I will speak to you tomorrow when hopefully I will have started something. I'm slightly more coherent now. It's Tuesday. Hi, hi, day two uh, of Vlog, vlog number one. Uh, yes, I'm feeling a bit better today. Still a little bit weird, but but mostly good. Uh, I have started a book, which is proof of what this is meant to be about. I mean, uh, so I was in between starting The Galaxy in the Ground Within and Master of Jin, and I ended up deciding that I was not emotionally ready for The Galaxy in the Ground Within, so I have started a Master of Jin, and I'm absolutely loving it. I did listen to the audiobook for Dead Jin in Cairo and Haunting of Tram Car, is it 051? I can never remember what order the numbers go in, but that one, uh, and really, really loved them. So I was excited to pick up the full book. Uh, I'm about 10% of the way through that, and I'm hoping to finish that today. Uh, and so far it's very, very good. I just really like the world. It's set in 1912 in an alternate Cairo, where at one point uh, this person, bored a hole through to the world of the jinn and kind of let all the jinn in and it prompted Cairo to become like a global superpower or Egypt to become a global superpower and Cairo is the center of that uh, and we have this main character who is an investigator and she works uh, with the supernatural basically so it's kind of like supernatural detectives uh, but also set in Cairo uh, and it's a really cool world it's steampunk and just oh, it's just great and I'm really enjoying it so far so that's what I'm reading uh, and other than that I've not been doing anything. And that is why vlogging on a week off is a little bit tricky. What have I done? I've ordered a sewing pattern, but that's not coming till like next week. Um, but that should be an exciting project. That's my January sewing project. And other than that, life is fairly normal. So I assume this is gonna be a quick vlog, but I, I didn't want to start the year off on a fail. What's the opposite of aesthetic? Cause I think I'm that. Like everyone's like, look at my beautiful aesthetic room. And I'm like, look at my mess. Hi, happy Wednesday. Uh, I believe it's Wednesday. Yes, my laptop says yes. Uh, hi, I am working on bits and bobs today. I've just written a review 
for I've just written it, Black Sun, Rebecca Roanhorse. Uh, good, we'll be up near the release date for that on the blog. And I think I've got, I've still got to write Malice's review, Fireheart Tiger, and, because I finished it yesterday, A Master of Gin, which is very, very good. I would recommend it. It is not out till the 11th of May, because I am a disaster who cannot read things in publication order, but I uh, really, really enjoyed it top notch. Uh, I think you probably, you don't need to read them, but it would be useful to you to read the novellas, or it's like a novella and a short story first, and also they're great, so why wouldn't you? I'm listening out to see if my tea is done brewing. Great story, great plot. I think I'm going to talk about it a bit more in my wrap up, because I want to properly talk about it. And I also haven't written the review yet, so my thoughts are not all in order, but Oh, that's my tea. One sec. And we're back. I, I don't even know what to do about this lighting, but look, look at the steam. Oh, fresh tea. Always good. Um, what was I? Master of Gin. It's just everything I want. Like, I love a murder mystery and to add in fantasy and also lesbians and also a uh, culture that is actively challenging colonialism. Like, oh, it's just good. It's really, really well worth reading. And I'm sorry that you all have to wait till May. But also the disadvantage of that is I know that other people I know who will read it and really enjoy it, hi Justine, will not read it till May. And by then I will have forgotten everything about it, which is why I must write the review to cement my thoughts so that I can use them in the future. Because that's why you write reviews, right? Uh, for your own benefit. So yes, that's the book I've read. I am also some of the way through Fool's Fate via audiobook, which I'm doing on script by the way. Uh, I, I picked that up again because that's what I did. Uh, I think I am on chapter 14, so there's still another 20 and a bit hours or so. Um, so I don't anticipate finishing that anytime soon. I think I'm quite happy for that to spill into next month, to be honest. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna be sort of review writing. I've got some subtitles that need to go onto some videos, so I'm gonna be doing that. If I pick up any book, it ought to be Curse of the Divine, because that is out. Oh no, these aren't sorted by pub date. Let's sort them. Gotta love a sort. Uh, yeah, it still ought to be Curse of the Divine. Okay, okay, this is weird Judith brain time, okay? <laughs> We've done this before. Um, I have a lot of books that I can now read. I have a TBR, but <laughs> but I've put some of them in my January TBR, so I can't read any of those because they're in my January TBR. Curse of the Divine, it's in my January TBR. What do I do? I can't read it early. It's not January yet. So then obviously you're like, well, why don't you pick up one of the, one of the many other books that are not currently in a set TBR? And my brain goes, but what if we didn't finish it? Then it would go into January, and it's not January's <laughs> TBR. Ah, weird brain thing. A w weird moment. And that's not me being like, oh my goodness, I'm so quirky. Uh, genuinely, I, I don't know why my brain works like this, and I would like to know. Um, so, maybe I'll persuade myself to pick up one of the many books that I'm allowed to read. Nobody is enforcing this but me. I want to get all the other bits and bobs done first. Because to be honest, I'm not super in the mood to read right at this moment, and if I do want to read it will probably be later today after I have a nice chat with Asher and Justine, hopefully, she says. Not knowing for certain that's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure it will. But that's my, my day planned out, I guess. Um, do I have anything else I need to inform you of? I don't think so. Thanks so much. Hello the vlog from me, a person who is so adrift in time that she has forgotten to vlog for two days running. It is now Friday, it is New Year's Day here in the UK uh, and everywhere, most places by now, I think. Um, how are things? Things are okay. I think this is just going to be a really weird vlog to start the year on. I was hoping to start the year with like a punchy, yeah, it's a new vlog, happy new year, blah, blah, blah. And my brain has been like, wah, wah, wah. Um, I've been reading some good things. I finished The Galaxy in the Ground Within. It was phenomenal. It was so good. What was the thing I finished before that? Curse of the Divine. It was okay, but Galaxy in the Ground Within Whew, so good. But yeah, I've just been feeling a little bit adrift at present uh, and that's fine and that's allowed and this shall be just like dipping the toe back into vlogging. It doesn't need to be punchy, wow, huzzah, wonderful. It can just be existing, which is kind of what the vlogs are and I like that. Uh, I haven't started any new books. I have filmed my wrap up. I have filmed my best books of 2020 video. Whew, exciting. Those will all be coming. Yes. Uh, so that, that will be fun for you. And then I think, 
Oh, well, so many good books on the TBR to choose. I think I might start Traitor Baru Cormorant because, you know, when in a bad brain place, read even sadder things. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to go make a cup of tea now and then start a marathon edit. Uh, but yeah, just sort of bear with if you're new to these vlogs. They are normally a bit more substantial. Hello the vlog. I feel like I've worn this cardigan all week and that's accurate and fine. Hello, how are we doing? It is Saturday morning, coming up for lunchtime in a little bit and I am reading. Oh, I've left it all the way over there. I finished one book uh, this year, which is exciting, uh, and it is Heartstopper Volume 3. It is a graphic novel. I thought I would set myself up for success with a, a quick win. Uh, this is absolutely lovely. How much do I need to talk about this? It's the third instalment of a graphic novel series about these two young boys who fall in love, and it's very nice, and I didn't know up to which point this book went, and it has got to a point where I had already read it. So it was mostly a revisiting of the comic, but really nice to read, the art's really lovely, the story's just really nice, simple, honest, fantastic, loved it, good. Um, glad to have read it. And then I have started The Traitor, Traitor Barry Cormoran by Seth Dickinson, and I am only 17 pages in, but I can already tell that I'm going to enjoy rereading this. I read this a very long time ago and couldn't remember much about it, so it's nice to be able to get back into it now. Dipping my toe back in, so far it's it's sad and all about indoctrination and cultural erasure, but erasure, erasure, I can't say it, but you know what I mean. Uh, and I know it's gonna be bleak and I know it's gonna be difficult, but I'm really looking forward to reading it again and then reading the second one and then hopefully reading the third one, you know, how book series work. I'm going to end this vlog here. I know it's been not a very long one and not a very zippy one, I guess. Is maybe that the right word? I don't know. But we will end on a high because I'm here to tell you that I finally got rid of the pile of books that have been sitting in my wardrobe hiding away since the unhaul I did, not the unhaul I did in November of this year or August of this year or whenever it was, but the unhaul that I did in November of 2019. I've finally taken those books away. <laughs> Katie offered to drive me so that we could go and get rid of them all and they are gone. I feel lighter in my life. Um, so while I do still have more books than will fit on my bookshelves, I don't have extra books that I don't even want to have in my wardrobe, which is pretty good going. What a nice way to end the week. Thank you so much for joining me this week. It's been an interesting one. My brain has been difficult, but I feel a bit like it's on the mend. So there you go, there's some honesty for you. An honest look at the first week of the year for me. New year, new what? No. I hope that you have had a nice week, or that if you've had a week like mine, that it is similarly feeling like it is coming to an end and it will all be all right. Comment below, let me know what you've been reading. What was your first read of 2021? I, that's what I want to know. Let me know. While you're down there commenting, you can also follow me on my social media. You can subscribe because it makes me feel loved and appreciated. That's all from me and I will see you in the next one. It's gonna be some bloopers now. Hard to play the ukulele with really cold hands.